this is what the wells look like. You gotta clean this one up a little bit more. You can see a little mesh coming through here. That needs to be covered with plastic. But I did this last night. Alex and David did these last week. Still gotta fill these in. I'm gonna do this tonight before I edit this video, put it up. But you can see here, so I gotta come over with the uh, plastic, cover all that over. Show you the back side real quick. It's pretty clean. Once these get sanded down, a little body work, we'll be good to go. All right. Rear wheel, this is what I was talking about. Sitting way too low. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but got cut in two right here in the tire. It is way too low. My finger can't even get in there. All right, that's how low it is. So I gotta roll those fenders and raise the car. Side skirt, this right here. So, there you go, those are my issues I gotta work on. Good evening folks, Talker Designs here. Hey, uh, I know I owe you guys uh, custom rear bumper part three, and I'm sorry. This you will see some clips of the bumper getting done in this video, but not too much of it. This video is more focused on a little update. So, and I wrote everything down. So, rear bumper progress. Um, Alex and David were over here last week and knocked out pretty much a lot of it for me. Um, can't remember his name. Oh man, that should be all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Moment of truth. Darnell, Darnell was over here working on the bumper for his Infinity, getting it set down so he can get it ready for primer and paint. Um, I'll put his Instagram name in uh, the description. You guys can look him up. He also has a YouTube channel. He's just starting out also. You guys can look him up, see what he's doing with his infinity. To add, my buddy um, Gail has a uh, coupe G35. He wants me to put my touch on also. Um, a video for that coming pretty soon. Look out for it probably Sunday or Monday. Um, so, what I really want to talk about, all right, rear bumper progress. So, Alex and David came over on and did most of the work for me. Um, Thursday, Josh came over, we tried to get a car started, and he asked one simple question. How long has the gas been in the car? Yeah, about that. So now I gotta drop the tank and drain it. Put fresh fuel in, my fingers crossed. We turn that key and she fire right up. All right, so let's go off the list. We got about 20 things on here. Side skirts. Oh. Side skirts I made, right? Went in the junkyard, saw the side skirts on the Altima, looked perfect, took them back, they were long. Cut them, learned the plastic weld, put them together. Primed them. They were perfect. So, let me kill this light. As you can see, it's plastic welded, but you can't tell. Okay? On the bottom here, yes. Because we didn't clean that up. And on the inside, yes. You can see. But the problem with that. They're an inch and a half too low. Front bumper was started on first, got it on. I thought in my head, it should be good, but the front bumper is an inch and a half lower than the side skirts. All right, front bumper is sitting at like five inches off the ground. And I still gotta go down probably another half an inch to a quarter of an inch in the front to lower it. Side skirts were sitting 
at six and a half, maybe seven. And they weren't fully up what it was supposed to be. So maybe seven inches. So I went to the junkyard today. side skirts came off a infinity g35 uh four door sedan and hold on my bad you see right here so this is the side that goes towards the door and i'm get out of the light i'm gonna cut this whole lip off right here this is gonna sit on the inside of the door, all right? It's about 14 inches too long, so I still have to cut this and plastic weld. This piece will come in handy when I'm done. Use the same material for plastic weld it back together, clean this up, you're gonna prime like the ones that did before. All right, so side skirts, that's done. All right, the car's still on the rear. Um, when they dropped the car off, I had some stuff in the trunk, maybe about three, 400 pounds and we heard his rubbing, check the tires. The fender was cut into the tires. So now I gotta roll the fenders and still raise the car in the rear. All right. That's Saturday. Hopefully, David and Alex can come back over here, finish up the bumper while I do work on the tank. And that's hopefully we can get that done. Nissan. Sentra needs more seats. I need a set. All right. I need a set. Please. Can you hook it up? It's called Project Nissan. Everything in this car is from a Nissan. The dashboard, 350Z, 370Z pieces going in the dashboard. All right, front bumper, it's a 91 Sylvia upper half and an 03 center, center lower half. Rear bumper, 240 rear bumper and center rear bumper cut fabricated along with the Altima, I think it's a 2011 Altima license plate enclosure, custom made, all right? Whole silver front end conversion. So I need those seats Nissan, Nismo. Come on, y'all watching this? Send me an email, drop a comment. Let's talk business, all right? Maximum steering wheel, I can order that from eBay. Too easy there from anywhere from 65 to $150, depending on condition. That's gonna be customized too. All right. The wing, found it on a Sentra, Nissan Sentra SER in a junkyard back in Maryland. Customized it to fit mine. Project Nissan. The wheels, uh, 35th anniversary, I think. 350Z wheels. That's what's on the car. It's called Project Nissan for any reason. So I need those seats, Nismo seats. All right. That's done. Thank you, Nissan, in advance. Uh, thank you, Japanese Muscle, my sponsor, and um, Blast Performance for doing such a good work with the Rebuilding Turbo. Hey, Japanese Muscle, I'm going to hit you guys up later in the year, and um, when we get things worked out, start getting stuff for this car, all right? And second to last, thank you guys so much. I'm over 400 subs. Couldn't have done it without, it, without you guys. It's all you, all right? Over 400 subs, and hey, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Uh, probably when we hit a thousand, these are side skirts that I made first with the 240. Might be able to rifle them off to somebody. All right, it's uh, something to think about because I won't, no sense of keeping them if I'm not going to use them. They fit the 240 perfectly. Screw right up to both fender, rear and front fender, and 3M tape, and you're done. That's it. You just got to paint them. They're already primed. All right, and lastly, don't close this video. I hope you watch to the end. So I taught my son a little mechanical stuff, taught him about cars. He fell in love with the WRX. He actually bought one, had some work done to it. And I'll go ahead and throw his, uh, his dyno sheet in there and a couple of rolling shots he has of his car. Sounds pretty good. I'm proud of him. I'm proud he did it. All right, but again, thank you guys for watching. This is, this is gonna be the end of my piece. I'll throw his videos in afterwards. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. 
drop a comment. Let me know what we can do better. And get your shirts. Get your Target Design shirts. You get them with a logo on the front, Target Designs on the back. I can start doing the big logo on the front or just this. It's up to you. It's custom shirts for a reason. You hit me up, let me know how you want it, and I'll get it done for you. Last week I had writer's block cause my mind was straight hating dog What I do I talk to God he said he said now nah, you don't stop Last week I had writer's block cause my mind